back to the channel guys and welcome to the final episode in this 2019 Mercedes Sprinter build along series. In this week's video I am going to show you the finished article, everything that I think you need to know about my epic Mercedes Sprinter build along that I've done here right on the driveway and I'm also going to let you guys know how I managed to go £50,000 £50, over my original budget. Let's address the elephant in the room and that is the fact that throughout this build I've been calling this a 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. That is just to avoid confusion. 2018-2019 was the crossover year. This was the first of the new shape, the 907. I actually have a 906 on a later registration than this, that's why it gets confusing. It's a 907, new shape, Mercedes Sprinter, absolutely wicked. Now then, I do apologise that the final van tour is not in a beautiful, lovely, scenic location unless you think that of my driveway. Um, I did try that, but I left out so much vital information that I couldn't complete the video. At least here on the driveway, if I do miss something, I can just skip outside and hopefully fill in the blanks. I am getting a haircut this afternoon, so please bear with me if there's a massive continuity jump. I'm sorry. Now, while we're not in a beautiful scenic location, I have parked the van at this beautiful aggressive angle, and I moved the wheelie bins. What more do you want? So before we go ahead and get this van tour done, um, let's have the used salesman pitch. Um, what is the van itself? It's a Mercedes Sprinter 314. It has air conditioning, it's not white, it has a full Mercedes-Benz service history. It even has Mercedes-Benz warranty until October 2023. The van has 32,000 miles on the clock. It's a Mercedes Sprinter, 32,000 miles on the clock. It's absolutely awesome, drives just like it should. It's an absolute beauty of a van in today's market a base vehicle like that is now forty-five thousand pounds i'm not using today's market as a selling point i'm using what i bought it for and that was just as the world was about to go crazy so there it is that's the base vehicle so let's get this van tour underway guys and let's start straight away with the black rhino overlander wheels they're 17 inch with the um bfg goodriches on they look absolutely awesome right above that we got the terra wagon arch kit Coming around the corner, you've obviously got the Tarawagon Aero Hood, which is the bonnet protector. The Gecko Vans floating light bar mount. Um, I've opted for the Wilderness Lights that have got just like the sp small spotlights. You could obviously put a bar straight across with the bonnet mounts just above. They look absolutely awesome. They are all on a switch relay. So they will turn off as soon as you turn your engine off. They require the engine on so they're drawing no power in the off position with the light bar with the cracking roof rack from Pinky's Custom Fabrications. Absolutely gorgeous, I've got to tell you. With the side access ladder leading up to our roof rack. I'll take you up there shortly. As previously mentioned, we have the flares from Flare Space. They're not side pods, they're not kick pods, they're not kick space, they're not side space. They are the OG flares from flare space with the cr lawrence windows with bug screen you just cannot beat the look of them they are the original and they are in my opinion the best color coded to match the vehicle we have the oe reverse light camera up there moving on to the gecko van wheel carrier i absolutely love the design of this i've got a full video on the install and everything you need to know about that as is anything else let me just stop and say guys, if you think I'm moving too fast, now the reason is, this is a video in summary of the whole build. Now, if you like the look of something, the chances are, just like that Gecko Vans wheel carrier, the chances are there is a whole video dedicated to it. I've recorded all major milestones and I've put them in a mid wheelbase sprinter build along. So go check it out, hit the subscribe, go check out the playlist. If something catches your eye, the chances are I have a whole video dedicated to it alone so like i said full video on that wheel carrier full install and everything that i think about it and a spoiler alert is awesome um, with a full size fifth spare wheel tooley fuel tool tool whatever awning absolutely great i've only opened that once just to make sure it works and obviously it does absolutely love that totally discreet up there absolutely gorgeous i have got the terra wagon bug barriers that i will actually um, gift the lucky new owner of this van i want to start with the rear 
language because I love it because I absolutely love it check this out I absolutely love this part of the van there is so much storage there's so much extra space this elevated bed with the bed sleeping sideways making use of the flare space it is just a game changer and it is something that I want for my own van for the big black 906 I absolutely love it along here we have some electrical components in this cupboard I'll probably put some b-roll over the top we have the goal zero in this unit at the back so that's pretty much used up we have our water system in here there's full videos once again on each of these items full videos on the goal zero 3000x full videos on the full water system so this side predominantly pretty much is taken up with utilities apart from these end cubbies here good space for the shower hose electrical components that kind of thing any kind of temp pegs all of the horrible stuff mallets you name it bullfinch shower here making use of that 10 liters of hot water that's heated via electric bullfinch shower with the fold out awning style shower cubicle this is actually so much better than you could ever imagine when you think of fold out shower curtain you think it's going to stick to you you think it's going to blow in the wind because there's metal rods in the bottom creating that square cubicle this is absolutely genius and i'm not sure why more people aren't using them absolutely great moving over to this side this is all storage so we've got a tool cupboard there got a deep wide massively square cupboard there same again there This one here is actually taken up a bit by the wheel arch, but you could still make use of that space. I didn't want to just block that off because every inch in a van, as we all know, is usable if it is usable. So there is so much storage in here. We could even have cargo nets put on the top or anything bolted to the top of here that you want to, bolt stuff to the side. I want the rear of this van transplanting into the rear of my own van. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna take you for a closer look now. So this is what I call the utility side. So we've got the Goal Zero 3000X there. Um, quick brief is we have a 600 watt B2B. It will take so much solar, more solar than I could fit on the roof. It has a 260 amp hour battery in there. Uh, a 2000 watt inverter that will actually peak at 3500 watts. It runs absolutely everything. There is so much in that box you just cannot imagine. There's our water system. 10 liters heated via electric via a coil in there there's our pump how discreet how compact is that it's a massive giveaway that i am actually a plumber so that was designed by myself leaving a bit of space this side just for stuff that you don't want to access all the time this this panel here actually pops on and off and basically as a doesn't get opened all the time it's basically a panel and not a door we have some storage here rcd for electric hookup powerpoint there in case you have um, e-bikes that kind of thing and that is our augs beam 12 volt fuse board i'll show you the other side of that in a minute which talks to that 12 volt and everything is controlled via one single panel this is absolutely awesome I cannot explain to you how well this layout works with that bed hooked up um, just into that side panel area it just creates so much storage now where I'm sat at the moment the key was if you wanted to you could have a bike tray here and um, you have a pass through there so the front wheel would actually stick through into the um, part of the galley kitchen but there is so much space you could probably get about four blow up canoes where I'm sat you honestly considering this does actually sleep five and travel five you could take enough gear for all five people which is absolutely key so how did this van build become so over budget i'm going to tell you a little story now and it won't take long so please listen up i originally set out to spend twenty-five thousand pounds for van and build not including my time and i was going to build a second van and i was going to rent it out to total strangers for them to go off and have their own adventures of a weekend except when i went to go look for vans twelve thousand pound got me basically nothing in a world of Euro 6, which is basically a congestion charge um, for vehicles that do not have AdBlue, and in a world of COVID, the prices of vans was silly. Now, I started looking at 
Mercedes Sprinter 906s that did have AdBlue, people wanted £5,000 more for that. And then I thought to myself, why not just get the newer shape van? I ended up spending way more than my whole budget basically just on a base vehicle alone. Now then I've got the problem of I roll in a little group of people that build absolutely lovely vans, just like this silly sausage up here. I then tasked myself to build a van of similar kind of nature, of similar kind of standard. That's where it all fell apart. You do not need an aluminium roof rack, even though they are absolutely gorgeous. You don't need that. You don't need the side ladder on the side. You don't need to import flares from flare space over in America. You don't need half the stuff that is on this vehicle. But if you end up with the stuff that's on this vehicle, you are gonna have a crack in time. So coming into the van, first thing everyone will notice is this step. Now, a lot of people, every time I open the van, they tell me how impressed they are with how this step came out. And I've got to be honest, so am I. This was one of the things that was on my top five mistakes um, because I wasn't happy with the finish. I am now, it's absolutely awesome. I've put this aluminum trim across the front of it. It makes such a difference. It's all matchy matchy. It looks absolutely beautiful. We've got a fridge here on the side. It's a 50 litre Vitra Frigo with a little freezer compartment. Works absolutely lovely. Now what I love about that is access to beer and cold drinks without actually going into the van. This is the same layout as on my black van. We have an extender to the worktop here. Matching bamboo on the table, the legun table. The seats do swivel. Now what I will say is that seat looks horrible. The day this video comes out, which I'm hoping is Tuesday, which is today, as far as you guys are concerned. Seriously guys, this looks absolutely awesome. If you're seeing this, that means I was able to re-edit the video and put this in on time for tonight's video. I hope you do get to see it because look how awesome they look. They match the pattern of the rib bed over here. They have changed the look of the van no end. What a difference that makes, 600 pound. That cost me to get that upholstered and the front seat matching. They look and feel absolutely fantastic. Let's carry on with the video. Here's our kitchen galley. Have power points here. One that works on electric hookup if you are ever actually hooked up. This works via the inverter that's on the goal zero. Here is our Augs beam panel, which I'm absolutely in love with. And I've got one of these coming that I'm going to do a giveaway on. Basically, you can control every single item that you want via this panel. If we look up here, we have a few usual suspects. Max fan, so the Max Air fan at the rear, directly above the bed. We also have the control there for the auto turn planar diesel heater. No Chinese ripoffs in this van, it's the real deal. It's situated in there, so it takes up no space, fully legal. And I've recently learned, which not a lot of people are onto, you do actually need one of these, which is a carbon monoxide detector. I'm yet to fit that. That's just gonna go up there like that. You do need one of these if you've got a diesel heater, believe it or not. Safety first. Here we have our TV unit. Now, Extron's, um, as far as I'm aware, and all of my knowledge, had a pretty bad name for itself back in the boy racer days with the head units. This TV, is an absolute belter. I cannot explain to you how great that that TV is. It tethers off your phone, Netflix, YouTube. If you've got signal on your phone, you can watch all of the uh, major apps. So all of your Netflix, your Amazons, that kind of thing. Absolutely cracking bit of kit. You won't see it in this daylight, but there's an afterglow around there, which is actually in green, which is stylish. And it basically just folds away and you forget about it and you don't even know about it. It's absolutely awesome, especially for the traveling kids behind. Now the idea was, that that TV can serve as the entertainment for everyone of an evening. So this is obviously a rib bed. This turns into a bed, but it's also a, a loungy kind of seat, which I absolutely love. It's actually comfortable to sit on as opposed to all of the other um, bed come seats. And also when laying in bed there, you can also see the TV, so it's a cracker. Now it may seem silly to mention that I went to Mercedes and got the bulkhead delete package basically. So I've got the trims that go um, up around this pillar and they go up and over now that may seem really petty to mention but it makes a difference it looks absolutely awesome now the finish in this van is way superior to the finish in my own black van i absolutely love it um i went 
I went as far as I could possibly go with my know-how and budget. And the budget was stretched, believe me, but it looks absolutely awesome. Now, a lot of people put a panel over here. I went ahead and left this um, conduit in. I think it looks absolutely wicked. It looks rugged, which is the um, the image I was going for. It looks bolt-on. Um, that's the kind of the kind of look I was going for. I was going for that panel look. I didn't want it to be seamless um, and look like it came out of a factory. That's not kind of what I wanted. I wanted, wanted it to look like things have been bolted in place like quite an aggressive hard look so for example the ceiling is this tweed this tweed fabric i hope that makes sense i've got videos dedicated to this like i said and i've used actual fixings so you haven't got seamless poppers where it just pops on and disappears you can see pretty much all the fixings now i think it looks absolutely incredible everything's in line and um, i think that looks incredible now everything is in line all of the slots on the bolts are all facing the same way. Um, it's silly things like that that do make a difference. It looks absolutely incredible. Now with the rib bed racked forward, you've still got way more foot room than you would ever need. By the way, that does swivel. I just haven't for the sake of this video. So what that does is then it opens up this space behind, couple of options. We can either lay that first panel down and you've got this lovely ledge there for all of your luggage, that kind of thing, or maybe even stick a dog up there, I don't know. But that becomes a usable space, and this still is a massively usable space. Now, I love the rib bed. There's so many different ways of using it. You could actually fold out those pieces and pull that up so it's a bit of a lounger. Love it. It works both ways, honestly. Expensive, heavy, but beautiful headrests. It's a cracker. It's a cracker. It's an absolute cracker. So moving on to the bed, we've obviously got the flares from Flare Space once again. Six foot four across the rear. Plenty enough. It obviously tapers as it comes in, so the larger person is going to sleep on the back. We have the CR Lawrence windows. These are fully openable with the bug screens. Love that for that fresh air. You hit those windows and that Max fan, you're gonna keep cool. That's absolutely lush. Moving on to the mattress itself and the bed. This is a silent night, six inch, 150 mil memory foam mattress. So you're not just sleeping on four inches of foam. You're sleeping sideways, which gives you six foot four at the back, slightly less at the front. Honestly, the flares from Flare Space make this a totally different van. And we've also got the standard slats. So that offers you that extra comfort this is basically the same as any bed that you would find in a domestic setting. So you're not gonna have a rough night's sleep because you're sleeping in a camper van. You're basically sleeping in a bed, a real bed, but in a camper van. So we have three lockers above here with a splash of color there. That was the theme. It was the gray and the green. Absolutely cracking, so that's for luggage. Now I opted, but it is an option, I opted to not have units across there just because I like the thought of sitting up in bed or having headspace but at any point more lockers could be put across there or even a shelf um, I know Evo Motion which is the guys that I reached out to and got this stuff for they do a shallower version so you could have a shelf up there just for your odds and sods that might work well I must jump in here and add um, obviously we've got the addition of the laptop I'm editing as I'm going to make sure that I've got everything on camera for you guys this vehicle sleeps five so we've got the UK double at the back like I've told you 1350 wide it is a UK double an actual double bed um, not a small double this folds out into a single bed um, a UK single if you did need two extra sleepers we would make use of the kabunk system um, I would let that go with the van if you did need it um, that would create two extra bunk beds for those um, that wanted to sleep there. Just double checking that I've got enough footage to show you guys everything that I think you need to know. If you feel like I haven't covered something, do check out my back catalogue. I've been building this on YouTube every week. Every major milestone, I like to call it, um, has been covered, I believe. So please go check it out if you feel like something's missing. Let's talk price. The price is £75,000. That's a lot of money. For this van, I do not believe it is a lot of money. I didn't want to be crude and mention the price, but it's the first thing people are going to ask. So I'm not even going to put it in the comments. You have to get this far to um, know what the price is. And I'm even going to delete any comments that do mention the price. So be aware. 
don't mention the actual price. Make people watch because my channel should be doing so much better. Right. What I will mention about the price while we're talking about the price is if I was given a super duper discount on something like I have been along the way while I've been doing my YouTube channel. So, for example, Rhodes Vans, um, he reached out to me and littered me with Terra Wagon parts for this and the 906 at a super duper special YouTube affiliate partner best friend rate. I've passed that price on to the price of the van. So. Um, for example, if something was worth a thousand pound, and because I'm doing this YouTube thing, it was worth um, I got it for five hundred pounds. I put the five hundred pound that I spent on the cost of the vehicle. I didn't assume the thousand pounds. So whoever buys this van is getting so much more than what they should be getting for the price of this van. If that makes any sense whatsoever, thank you for joining me on my journey as I've built this epic build on my driveway it can be done on your driveway you can create a good finish it may take a little bit longer especially as it rains a lot in the uk thank you for watching do subscribe check out my other videos and i'll see you next tuesday